Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're putting the AnyCubic Cobra 2 Pro 3D printer to the test with an all-in-one print model. This print is a great way to check if the printer is perfectly configured and calibrated right out of the box. So, let's dive in and see how well it performs. Now, let's move on to slicer settings. For this test, I'm using Ultimaker Kura with the following settings. Layer height, 0.2 millimeters. Print speed, 40 millimeters per second. Infill density, 100%. Retraction settings, 2.5 millimeters at 80 millimeters per second. The all-in-one print model includes various elements to test the printer's capabilities. We got overhangs to test how well it handles steep angles. Dimensional accuracy cubes to measure the precision of each axis. Bridging sections to check if it can print gaps without support. A stringing test to see if there's any excess filament oozing between gaps. This model is a comprehensive way to identify any potential calibration issues. Alright, the print is underway. Let's fast forward and see how it turns out. Here's the final result. Let's take a closer look at each feature. Overhangs. Starting with the overhangs, you can see that the printer managed 10 degrees quite well, but at 80, there's a bit of sagging. This can usually be improved by lowering the print speed or adding a cooling fan. Bridging. The bridging test looks great up to 10 millimeters, but beyond that, there's a bit of drooping. Increasing cooling or tweaking the speed could help here. Stringing. The stringing is minimal, which is a good sign. If there was more stringing, adjusting the retraction settings or temperature could resolve that. Dimensional accuracy. For the dimensional accuracy test, the cube's measured, which is pretty close to the expected target. A small adjustment in the flow rate might be necessary to get perfect results. So, is the AnyCubic Cobra 2 Pro perfectly configured and calibrated right out of the box? I'd say it's pretty close. With just a few small adjustments, this printer can definitely deliver high quality prints. If you're considering getting the Cobra 2 Pro, I'd recommend running a test print like this to fine tune the settings based on your specific needs. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to stay updated with my latest printing videos. Also, let me know in the comments if you have any calibration tips or questions about the AnyCubic Cobra 2 Pro.